Okay. Um, so that's how I check if I'm in frame or not. I use the Urban Decay electric palette for a, um, a monitor because, you know, we're on a budget and we can't afford that kind of, uh, YouTube, YouTube, you, YouTube, you, YouTuber stuff. There we go. Oh my God. Hi everyone. It is me, Walter, and it's been a long time. It's been about like three years or two years since I've posted an actual video on here that's not like acting related or a monologue or a short clip of something. So this kind of feels natural to be just sitting down here. Also, you might, yeah. He just finished eating. I think he wants attention, but he's right in front of the camera, so we're next to each other. So today we're gonna be doing kind of like that um, YouTuber, so today we're going to be doing that kind of like YouTuber like update video that everyone does once in a while when they disappear from a platform. I hope you guys are ready to sit down, chat, and talk. Why don't we get into it? Ugh. Ooh. So where do we start? There has been so much, I'm trying not to curse, there's been so much crap. We've been all over the place. <laughs> I kind of want to take out... So first, I want. Um, that was unconsistent. <laughs> what I want to do with this channel for the future is, I kind of want to start making videos again. Um, and I know I said this the last time, and I did not go through with it. So you know, suck it. I feel like this year, things are definitely coming to fruition, and I feel like. It's time and I feel like something inside of me feels like, you know, I need to sit down and make some videos again. Um, oh, okay. Let's fix that. Leave me alone. Why do you do this at these times? It's like you want attention when I'm doing something that calls for my attention. You're a whore. Oh. <laughs> so why don't we start with the acting portion? So as many of you know that, um, I've been kind of trying to pursue like a really cute acting career, you know, in the movies, in the shows, in the short films. It hasn't been going according to plan, but that is okay because with every loss, there is a win. You gotta look for that opportunity. Luckily, at the beginning of this year, I was so, so lucky to, <laughs> to be able to have signed to two agencies, Level Talent Group and Professionally Pretty. They have been keeping me super busy behind the scenes, making self tapes, submitting, all that fun actor business side of stuff before, you know, you actually do the acting. I haven't booked anything just yet, but you know, as the great say, yeah, <laughs> what, what, what am I gonna say? You know, with, you know, if you keep going, there's gonna be one yes. Sure, let's say that. It's been awesome, you know, getting into that routine of doing self tapes. And you know, since we're kind of in this like new digital age, it's kind of like the new norm. I have yet to go to an in-person audition also because of COVID, COVID. And so I like the fact that I can be home and just tape away, yell, scream, laugh, cry at the comfort of my own bedroom. That is basically what's going on with my um, acting career, <laughs> if you would like to call it that. I'm also trying to invest in some new headshots. My old headshots are just not cutting it anymore. I look serious. I'm dead in the eyes, which is true. I'm always dead in the eyes. There's no life behind this face. Oh, that is basically all the acting portion of this video. Why don't we move on to skating? Ooh. Okay, so we're now to skating. Um, I've been skating for almost a year now. Almost a year. I have never kept a hobby this long, y'all. Like, it's it's kind of crazy. I will be turning one years old, <laughs> December 13th. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, if I want to get like a little cake, or if I want to do a photo shoot, or blah, 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 some stupid shit like that. It's been a really, 
tiresome but rewarding journey so far. Um, when I first started, I did the 365 days of skate, mostly because I was unemployed and I had nothing to do. So I kind of did that one to myself. I lasted only to day 30 because <laughs> FYI, TMI. I got a skate that was a little too small for me and I ended up having to lose my two big toenails. It wasn't up to me, they just died. I also started a local skate group called Tampa Skate Factory, in which I host events, meetups, and I post little fun stuff about skating. So that's also been something that's been driving me this year. Having a community that loves the same thing as you and then you all come together is kind of like so fun and so cool. There's a mutual understanding that everyone is just here to skate, have fun, chat, talk, meet new people and that's what I love so much about it. I love the skate community here in Tampa. Um, everyone is so welcoming and nice and so you know if you're ever out and you want to meet with us just go on tampa skate factory a little promotion so this one okay this one's new this one's new so i started a little thing called burlesque subcategory boyless if you guys don't know what burlesque is oh, hey. Hey. not that burlesque burlesque is the act I'm taking off clothes. That's what it is. It's technically stripping. Burlesque. <laughs> it's kind of weird because it all happened all at once. I wanted to do burlesque back in like high school. I remember being a big fan of burlesque competition videos. So I would watch all these videos of these beautiful women on stage <laughs> taking their clothes off, but so ele elegantly and so poised and so strategic and very, very in the moment. And can I do that? Am I able to do that? Hold, hold and be, however you say that. Now look at me. I do burlesque. <laughs> so I had my first ever show back in August in Cocktail, at Cocktail St. Pete for the kitchen sink. And that's kind of like where it all jump started it. I did my first amateur competition and I ended up winning which is fucking crazy. So I am, <laughs> so I am your Corsets and Cuties 2021 amateur winner. Wow! That experience was totally intense and crazy. Um, I've never felt so more alive. I'm excited to see where this journey takes me. It's definitely helped me build an armor or confidence, if you say. I was never the one to be in love with my body or show it off or you know think of myself as sexy but stepping into the world of burlesque it's kind of like made me realize that i have my own power and i am in control of my body and my sexuality and i can display it however i want do whatever i want with it um and i don't have to care so much basically i went on this huge rant um, but my phone cut me off because there's no memory left so i had to delete a bunch of shit let's get back to it all right so that kind of concludes everything that i've been up to it's not that much it's not that crazy but if you guys have any recommendations about any videos that you guys want to see i'm down to make them all my links are down below if you want to follow moi i hope you guys have a good holiday hopefully i'll be back soon with another video so stay tuned and i will talk to you guys later bye